Hello and welcome to Green Healing where we discuss alternative and natural healing from abuse and CPTSD. Today I'm going to be explaining how to prepare Bach flower remedies and how to sterilize the bottles. As a quick reminder, this isn't medical advice or therapeutic advice. I'm merely sharing what I know and what I do myself, perchance it might also help you. The first step in preparing Bach flower remedies for the eyedropper bottles is to sterilize the bottles. Boil water and pour it into the bottle. Fill the eyedropper and then squeeze out two or three times. Refill the eyedropper, refill the bottle, place the eyedropper in the bottle, and I like to pour over the bottle as well. And then you can let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before emptying. The amount of drops for each remedy that you wish to include in the bottle is determined by the size of the bottle. One drop per 10 milliliters. It is recommended to use 30 milliliter bottles for one remedy only and bigger for multiple remedies. I use 50 milliliters bottles for multiple remedies. So that would make it three drops in a 30 milliliter bottle and five drops per remedy in a 50 milliliter bottle. And the bottles have to be tinted like so. This is a 30 milliliter bottle and this is a 50 milliliter bottle. You need to fill the bottle with distilled water or spring source water. Filtered water also works. Leave enough space at the top for alcohol and the remedies. So that the bottle of remedies is preserved over a long time, you'll need to add a bit of between 90% and 99% proof pure alcohol. I always pour a bit in a shooter glass or ounce measure and use the eyedropper to pour one or two eyedroppers into the bottle. I tend to do two eyedroppers in a 50 milliliter bottle and one eyedropper of alcohol in a 30 milliliter bottle. If you are preparing the bottle for children, it can be a bit less. So it's recommended to put a quarter or half the usual amount for that. Once the alcohol is in, close the bottle, shake mildly a few times. Now you can add in the remedies. I always leave a good enough room in the 50 milliliter bottle for my 10 plus remedies. Once the remedies are in, close the bottle. Now shake each bottle of prepared remedy, shake vigorously a hundred times. You can now take the remedies. If preparing in a glass of water, simply swish the water in the glass after the remedies are put in a little bit before sipping for the first sip. You can sip throughout the day. Some people drink a bit more initially, but you don't drink it all at once. You can sip throughout an hour. You can take a sip every five minutes. You can prolong it more to last the day, depending what your personal needs are and what the remedy is. Remember that you can take from the prepared bottles with the eyedropper four to five times a day spread out throughout the day. I sometimes take it more often, all depending how I'm feeling that day, how much I need the remedies to be a little bit more reinforced that day. And sometimes I take it only three times or two times because I feel so good that I forget to think, oh, I need to take my remedies. And you'll get to feel in your own body as well when you need it more, when you need the remedies less, and that sort of thing. I omitted to mention in my original recording that when you take the remedies, it's good to take them under the tongue and to hold them for a few seconds, approximately 10 seconds before swallowing. That way, everything will be absorbed into the body more efficiently. So I hope this episode has helped you. Share with anyone you think who might benefit from it. And remember, empower yourself and be emotionally free.